So this is going to be about Donald Trump. Now, this is after the midterms disaster, and he had such a bad uh, turnover with the Kennis that he endorsed. So uh, we'll see what's going on in his brain uh, right now. And I uh, hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Yeah, Donald just had a really bad time. You know, none of his people, one or very few of them, uh, made it through. And uh, even the media seems to be turning against him. All the Murdoch uh, uh, outlets are uh, running, uh, you know, making fun of him. And you know that's the one thing he hates. And then Ron DeSantis, uh, I've seen side by sides where Ron DeSantis movements, he's just com completely um, mimicked everything that Trump does. So let's see what Trump's thinking right now. How's he feeling? He must be going nuts. Okay, so here we go. I really like using this deck because it's got so much fun stuff uh, in the box. And uh, you'll see this at the end of the video if you watch it, but you can see the little star card inside there. And then in here, there's a, a sun card. Really cool. So, anyway. Donald Trump, he must be going crazy. That's all I can say. I'm sure he's so disturbed about everything that's happening. So, I mean, his candidates didn't do well. Uh, Ron DeSantis in mannerisms and speech patterns has, and popularity has become him. So, you know, that's driving him nuts. And, uh, of course, we do want to know if he's going to announce Tuesday that he's going to run. So I can't ask that, although, in fairness, I mean, I really do think he is going to run. But I'll ask that, too. So, yeah, this will be about uh, the craziness of uh, Donald Trump right now. So we'll see how that goes. But first, let's just do a moment of meditation. Donald Trump, what's going on for him right now? He must be going nuts. And will he announce that he's going to run on Tuesday, which I think he will, but we'll see what the cards say. So what's going on for Donald Trump right now in his brain? Now let's see what six cards to tell us about him. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Donald Trump. What's going on for you right now, buddy? Okay, so the signifier card for Donald Trump, and then the next draw will be about his announcement Tuesday. Signifier card is a seven of swords. Ah, theft <laughs> and abuse. Yep, swords of truth, justice, rules, and law. And of course, the seven of swords is really trying to see what you can get away with. So he's left the camp. Could that be the Republican Party? The, the uh, uh, what used to be the Republican Party. And uh, so he's trying to sneak off with with some of their uh, truths. <laughs> truth, interesting. So that's his new social platform, uh, Truth Social. Huh. Okay, so signifier card is him trying to get away with something. The challenge to it now is, oh, finding that perfect balance. Yeah, seeing uh, how you're going to balance the value of what it is you're trying to sneak away with. Of course, the also problem he has too is that he's fundraising and he can only be fundraising as long as he's still associated politically 
so there's a balance that he has to uh, meet there. The basis of the whole thing for Donald Trump right now, ooh, is, that's right, it's judgment. So he has so much judgment pending against him right now, all of these suits, and that's what's the bottom of this, and also a major decision about whether he'll announce that he's running to say, oh, they're uh, pulling these suits against me to uh, hurt me running for president. The past of this, oof is the tower card. Of course it is. I mean, it's all the disasters that he has overseen uh, during his presidency and now. Everything is falling apart, for, has been falling apart for him. In the sky of this is the Queen of Cups, so he's looking for some feminine compassion. Okay, that's what he's trying to find. Those who will keep him propped up uh, compassionately with that Queen of Cups. Okay, let's get all this straightened up because we do like our cards to be nice and neat. Okay, and then the final outcome for this, Donald Trump right now, in this, these six cards, with the Knight of Cups, he is going to continue to fight for that uh, knightly, uh, compassionate value. He's going to try to get you emotionally. So that's what we got for Donald Trump. But let's see, is he going to run right now? Is he going to run? Is he going on Tuesday? Is he going to announce that he's running for president? I think he's going to announce that. I might as well just say it. But, I mean, we can pull the cards and see what they tell us. On Tuesday, is he going to announce uh, that he's going to run for the uh, presidency? Is that what he's going to say on Tuesday? Or if that's not it, uh, give us a hint. We'll do three cards and see if that gets us where we need to go. If not, we'll pull some more. So, Tuesday, Donald Trump. Is he going to announce that he's going to run? One. Two, three. Is he going to announce on Tuesday that he's going to run? Okay. First card. Victory. Yeah, he's going to parade victory out there. So next card. Ten of Cups. Yeah, he's going for, he's going to give it as much emotion, he's going to give it as much passion as he can. And in the third card is the Knight of Swords. Look at him. Look at how determined this guy's fighting for his truth. Interesting. Yeah, he's going to announce. There's no doubt. So, there was just a little quick, you know, a little extra draw this week. And um, we'll see how it comes out. Well, that was just a little uh, fun extra video. I hope you liked it. And uh, actually what I'm doing is I'm trying out some different equipment. I got a different camera here with hopefully a clearer, crisper picture. And I've got a new microphone and, uh, and I'm checking around on the lighting and seeing how all that works. So hope it was good. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so this is a very interesting uh, deck that I have now called Mystical Medleys, a vintage cartoon tarot. This is such a cool deck, and I've had it for a little while. Uh, I, mean, I mean, it's absolutely new, but I've had it for maybe a couple, three weeks practicing with it. And uh, the box is amazing. It's a good, sturdy box. You'd expect uh, you got a nice uh, perfume, uh, perhaps, in a box like this. And this uh, is artwork by Gary Hall. And uh, this is uh, published, I presume, or distributed at least by Sterling Ethos out of New York. Okay, very interesting. A minute. What happens is this box opens from the bottom. Okay, so you flip this open and then you have this uh, creature right here, which I've forgotten the name, but I'll see it in a minute because I'm going to look at the guidebook and tell you about it and then bring up the example of it on my phone. But uh, so this is how you open the box from the bottom. That opens down. This slides out. And then now what you have is this inner uh, case with a very faint kind of watermark of this uh, animal on the front. If you look inside the case, and I hope you can see it, uh, inside there is a little uh, star, which for me is temperance. Okay, or it could be the star card itself. It's got two cups, a cup in each hand, which is typical of the star card, finding that balance. And uh, so that's, I love it when they've gone to the trouble to include some little secret uh, treasure for you inside the box. Now, inside here, if you take these cards out, inside this box, we have the sun. Okay, so the sun card. I hope you can see that too. Okay, and there's a little watermark on this side. There's none on the other side, and I'll show you why that's important. The other thing that comes with this card, or uh, this deck, are two extra cards, Sad Squirrel and Happy Squirrel, for divination. And the guidebook tells you how you would divine those, and uh, that brings us to uh, the guidebook. 
So again, this little creature is a very beautifully done kind of book. And um, so if you gave this as a gift or if you were getting it as a gift, you'd feel very uh, glad uh, that you got it. And it has a nice introduction here, which is speaking to um, Gary's um, um, inspirations uh, to come in, uh, into this uh uh, and it starts out like so many good stories. It all started with the devil. And that's what that uh, uh, animal uh, signifies here. Um, I've always been fascinated by magic, the cult, and the imagery of the tarot. I own several decks from the fully usable traditional ones to more modernistic, uh, modern artistic ones. And have always dreamed of creating my own in some way. Now, I want to find the name of this little devil here. And uh, so it's going to take me just a minute to read through this. Uh, because, gosh, I can't remember. Baphomet. Okay, so the creature that we're looking at then is uh, the Baphomet. That's what this guy is. So if you put these together right here, you see that is the cartoonish uh, depiction of a Baphomet. And let me show you what a Baphomet is. Let's say define uh, Baphomet. And we'll get a picture here. So this is the Baphomet. And this is a, a deity that supposedly the um, the Knights of the Templar would have, um, I don't want to say worshipped, but as it had an occultic interest in. And so the first card that Gary Hall created was that uh, Baphomet. And then from that, the rest sprung. So let's see, how am I going to do the rest of this? Yeah. Um, now, the cards themselves are a good way. They're uh, easy to use. They fit well in your hand. But the fantastic thing is how beautiful these cards are. This artist, Gary Hall, has a kind of ropey uh, quality to his art, kind of a, uh, a rubber hose kind of a, an effect. If you look at like the arms and uh and so that's his uh, style. And, um, and so the cards are very interesting. It took a little bit of uh, studying them before I felt comfortable using them for divination. Okay. And there's no reason because they do pretty easily, uh, they're pretty recognizable as the Rider Waite system. But still, for whatever reason, maybe I was just so distracted by the artwork. Um, I spread the cards out like this so that uh, if you don't get to see a lot of cards, then at least you've seen them here. And uh, you can decide. Uh, if these are uh, cards that you like and would like to use. I was always curious to see more than just a few cards that a reader would uh, pull out during the presentation. So there we go. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.